video to show you this morning. It shows the moment that looters tear down this door and pour into a small business in Ferguson. The night of the grand jury decision not to indict Darren Wilson in the Michael Brown case. This, as sources tell Fox, the FBI finishes, it finishes its civil rights investigation into Wilson. Anna Coyman is live in the studio for us with some more details for us this morning. Good morning, Anna. Hi, good morning, and good morning to all of you at home. Officials tell Fox News the Justice Department will not likely go forward with civil rights charges against Darren Wilson. Over 200 people were interviewed. Investigators used the same evidence presented to the grand jury that cleared Wilson in the August 9th deadly shooting. Officials say there was no indication 18-year-old Michael Brown's civil rights were violated. They come in with bells and whistles when the controversial shooting or, or other incident happens. They inevitably have to come back and say, as they've said time and again, there isn't enough evidence to do the case on this shooting. Attorney General Eric Holder and his civil rights chief will have the final say on whether Wilson will be charged. Brown's family not commenting until an official announcement is made. And that new surveillance video you ladies showed us at the top of the show just released showing the moment a wave of over 100 looters break into a small business in Ferguson following the grand jury decision in November. It's one of hundreds of small businesses looted that night during protests and riots. The owner of Delwood Market is demanding demanding justice. From back in August, I'm pretty sure a bunch of the same people were here in November. And also I believe that uh, I think that everybody should be held accountable for their actions. Police now reaching out to the public for help, offering a reward of up to $1,000 for information leading to an arrest.